So, so in our life, we face many choices, an abundance of choices. In this book, it talks about that um, uh, the quality of choices is there's no denying that it could improve the quality of our life. But also, it could not, it, the, some choices doesn't, doesn't mean that more, uh, more choice is better for us. Because if it's more, if, let's say, because creative people and entrepreneurs, they, let's say they have lots of projects, right? They have lots of um, opportunity. They could do this opportunity. They could do pro this project. What end up happening is since they have so many choices, they end up not making any choices at all, right? What I mean by this is, it's because their energy is not focusing on one thing. Right, or they're not focusing on the things that could have the potential to change their life. If they just make that one choices that have the potential to change their life, then they should choose that choice or project to ch um, that they should uh, do that project. But we have so many variety of choices, we don't know what to do. Uh, for example, back in the day, because I, I was <laughs> I was recording this and I was like, oh shit. I remember back in the day, they have fucking, hell, um, and uh, what was it, in high school, they have, remember, I don't know if anybody go to high school anymore, but I remember back in the day, I was in high school, and I fucking, they have fucking freshman hell week, okay, I remember that, meaning that uh, I was a freshman, uh, with a, what was it, they have sophomore, junior, senior, and freshman hell week is where uh, the older people who have been there, they would, uh, uh, beat up the fucking freshmen or um, like I don't know what happened to them but they would like fucking jump on them I was like what the fuck type of freshman hell week is this what the fuck am I getting myself into man I remember this shit holy shit and so I remember back in college days I remember I was a freshman and there was all these curriculum that um, that there's so many choices that uh, the average student have to pick, but the thing is, they choose. Uh, they don't know what to choose because they have so many variety to choose from, and so they would be confused. I was confused, right? There were so many um, sub, uh, what was it, subjects or uh, classes that you can take a variety. I remember I tried to take piano. I don't even know why I was in there. I remember I was in that class. I was like for even uh, like one or two days. Um, I took Chinese class, but but those class I, it was so unfocused on for me because it didn't create clarity because you need less choices uh, because you need less choices to make clarity or to have clarity to focus uh, because if you have so many choices you're unfocused you're you don't have much clarity you will be confused like I was so it's just less or more well uh, we would would believe that. The more choices that we have, the more experiences uh, with the product that we'll have. It's like the same thing that they have in supermarket or uh, the retail stores. They have variety of food, drinks, um, products, different type of brand, different. Like they will have the same brand. Uh, they have uh, the brand, and they, they will have the same uh, products, but different brand, right, there, there are so many choices to make, and you don't know which one, usually, people who would, if they like the product, they would usually go for the product, unless, uh, some people don't like, uh, to make decision, they want to make less decision, so, they would, because our decision making is binary, it's this or this, we don't do this, yes or no, right, and so we will pick our favorite pr our food, Unless we're the person who like to try things and taste, um, right? And so I remember back in the day, uh, in uh, what was it when I when I was working at Sakura, I remember my old. I always use this. My old manager at the time, I, I uh, my friend introduced me to drinking bubble tea, right? And I drink mango, mango flavor. That's all I drank because that's all I know because it was exposed to me. So. He said, how would you know uh, which one tastes good or not if you don't try different uh, things? So I tried all of them. I tried Toro, Honeydew. Uh, I, don't, I forgot what the other one. I tried all of them. Some of them I like. And um, I tried. So some of the things that we should try. And so I bring up Yu-Gi-Oh cards, right? 
so they so when I got back into playing Yu-Gi-Oh cards, the the rules, the game has changed, right? Um, and everything is just so fast. I didn't even understand it. They have uh, these extra things that I didn't even know that they had before when I got out of it. Because when I was building that, that was like 2011. I built cards, the uh, decks, right? Now they have the casual, meaning uh, the people who just like to build decks for fun, just to play with their friend and have fun. Or whether it's in locals. Well, the meta is where they are uh, very competitive decks that can win uh, or has the potential to win the game. And so I just built the casual decks. But I only built it because I wanted to build character or protagonist or main character anime um, character decks, right? Because I wanted to play like them. Like, I don't know if you know, you guys know, well, since entrepreneurs are. Because uh, millennials probably know, right? The Blue Eyes White Dragon, right? The uh, uh, rival of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yugi Moto, right? Th- basically, Kaiba had this uh, uh, favorite, what? Blue Eyes White Dragon, while Yugi had like Dark Magician. I would build build these decks just for the just to be um, playing like them. But uh, I tried very different version of it, different build um and i tried building different decks right because i listened to one of the i guess they are influencer uh one of the yugi tuber named simo uh, in his video he talked about you should build decks to um see which one works um and to understand the effects uh, and also to understand um your opponent decks too so you build that deck so i would taste and try and you have to become, like, I guess I would say that you have to become, like, a mad scientist to test which decks you would like, right? Because you don't know which deck, which, um, the, which archer type or, what, they have warrior type deck, they have, would have, like, dragon deck, they have machine deck, um, that you could like, but you don't know if you don't taste. So that's the problem. The problem is, so it could be bad or good. It depends how you see it. Uh, if it's, if it's bad, it make you unable to make decision for yourself because you have plethora of choices. Just like, uh, we have plethora of books on Amazon or plethora of books that you could be reading, but you have so many choices. That's why so many people aren't able to, or it's like you have so many choices to, uh, watch a video, to listen to podcast. You have so many choices online that you're unable to make a uh, decision. Unless you narrow it down into things that you need, like which information, which books, which video you need the most to narrow it down, which project um, that could move the needle for you, right? Because other projects uh, probably wouldn't move the needle. That one project could has the potential to not only change your life, but to change your family life. The choices could lead you astray. The choices could also lead you to an abundance life or get you going in a different, totally direction, right? This is how I see it, right? It's not a good or bad. I remember for the first time um, because I love chocolate milk. <laughs> um, and I finally uh, uh, try a different chocolate milk and I like it, right? And But the thing is, it depends on... If it's forced you pro- or if it's imposed on you, you wouldn't do it. Unless you make your decision yourself, then you would do it. Because that's different. Um, so that's the problem with many people who have many choices of project. is because they have too many choices. But if they, um, ha- they gotta find a project that really, really uh, not only move the needle, but also move their soul what they love to do you have to combine that together right and enjoy doing that otherwise you won't enjoy doing that otherwise you would hate it um that because why would you want to do it more because usually if you love it you keep going regardless of the obstacle the um, the setback that you have you will do the thing otherwise you will quit it's like um people so they have a it's like this right would you uh 
because I know, okay, so Bruce Lee, right? Bruce Lee done many um, martial arts, right? And uh, you would tr you would try different st uh, tr style. What are um, this system and this system to understand which one do you like better? You probably would like all of them if you try, right? Like you have so many forms, you have so many handsets, so many whether it's t what was it the hungar style they have the tiger crane style while the hun foot they have the short form first form second form, um, you have so many form to do with so many techniques that's why that's the thing with uh, so many technique is you it's like damn i should do that i should do this technique or this technique and we're all focus a bunch of a lot of technique instead of focusing on the the um, technique or punches or kick it that would matter the most the choices that lead us into building that either that skill it's like the same thing as building a skill right you could build that skill you could build that skill you could build reading skills you could build marketing skills um selling skills or a something skill and you have plethora of choices but the choices that you make should be able to uh, move that needle to build that skill uh, to do what you love to do and to put forth that that's what i got today i'll see you guys next time